when I was talking about uh, the reforms, further reforms in the foreign exchange regulations, I was really talking about improving the ease of doing business. So, because right now, the economy is growing. There's need for access to foreign exchange to be able to do trade and uh, other financial transactions. And uh, to make that work, we need to have a regime of uh, foreign exchange regulations that's more compatible now with a more modern Philippine economy. As you know, if you look back, many of our foreign exchange rules were crafted uh, back in the days when foreign exchange was scarce. This was in the 70s. So these, uh, these rules have become, many of these have become anachronistic. Although we have already done uh, several waves of foreign exchange uh, liberalization in the last couple of years, uh, about nine waves so far, there's still more to be done. And, and that's really meant to create more efficiency and uh, promote uh, business. Governor, sticking to the issues, um, I guess the, the issue with regards to uh, some of these things that have happened to Metro Bank or, and BPI and BDO, do we know yet what sort of uh, sanctions or uh, disciplinary actions the BSP wants to impose on Metro Bank or BPI? No, I think, uh, JP, the way to look at these things, uh, banks, large banks are complex organizations. These kinds of things uh, happen in any bank. Even if you even if you ask around globally, so th but that's why it's important, and this is really where uh, regulations come in. That the BSP keeps elevating the standards of this bank so that they'll be able to manage this risk as much as possible. But that's certainly no guarantee that these things don't happen. But what's important is banks are able to contain it and to recover from it and move on without risking uh, their constituencies, their, their, their depositors, their creditors, and the like. And I think the recent episodes, unfortunate as they are, were driven by many things. Some were related to, uh, to cybersecurity issues. Some were pure uh, human error. Others were reflected internal fraud. Each and every one of them were uh, eventually detected, contained, and, and there's no threat at all to the banking system. This is also the reason why the BSP has over the years been very aggressive in requiring our banks to constantly build up their capital basis precisely for moments like this so that they will be able to be resilient to all kinds of uh, challenges that may happen. And that's really the value proposition of our banks. They are well-regulated institutions, they are resilient, and they can continue uh, doing business even if uh, certain untoward events happen. So what sort of new regulations are you looking to roll out with regards to banks beefing up their cybersecurity and risk compliance capabilities? Okay, so maybe uh, just to step back, we in 2016, we actually upgraded our operational risk guidelines, and this covers as well uh, cybersecurity issues. Uh, forthcoming is a comprehensive update of our in information technology risk management framework soon. The public will see the unveiling of these upgraded IT risk management standards. But, you know, along the way, we've also put in additional uh, safeguards. For example, we put out guidelines on social uh, media risk management and uh, as well on business continuity. So the BSP is constantly thinking about these uh, potential issues that are uh, affecting our financial system. And I should, I should point out that cybersecurity is not just a unique Philippine risk. Cybersecurity is a problem uh, by, of banks in many other jurisdictions.